The great North American solar eclipse coming on April 8th, 2024 is drawing the attention of millions of people across the country. But something that may hinder your ability to see this eclipse is the weather. If you're wondering what the weather's gonna be like in your location for the eclipse, then you found just the video you're looking for. So without further delay, let's begin. For the remainder of Friday, April 5th, we have some snowfall moving across parts of the northeast as this low pressure system continues to move through. And on the western half of the country, we have a new storm developing. And this is actually the storm which may affect millions of people across the country during the eclipse. By Saturday, the storm is going to advance into the plains as the storm over the northeast continues degrading. The greatest risk for severe weather is going to be centered over Nebraska and Kansas on Saturday, with some damaging wind and large hail being the greatest risks, but a couple brief tornadoes can't be ruled out as well. Heading into Sunday, which is the day prior to the eclipse, conditions should continue improving for the east coast, especially over the northeast. And then over the central United States, that storm is actually going to weaken quite a bit as it attempts heading eastward, but don't let that deceive you. Now for Monday, April 8th, which is the day of the eclipse, a few interesting things should be noted. First off, that system over the central United States that we've been talking about now for a little bit is going to have a hard time advancing east as high pressure fights back. If you look further south, it looks like conditions are improving, but this is why I said don't let it deceive you. It looks like an outbreak of severe storms may be on the table for parts of the plains. Here's the latest SPC outlook for Monday, and you can see that risk area over parts of Texas into surrounding portions of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. This of course will not only mean cloud cover, but also the potential for dangerous wind, large hailstones, and even tornadoes. By Tuesday, we may be looking at a second severe weather episode over the same exact region, so definitely make sure you factor that into your schedule, especially if you're going to be traveling through this part of the country. Now for Wednesday, while conditions should improve over the southern plains, a third outbreak of severe storms may be on the table slightly further east across Dixie Alley. There is a possibility that severe weather will continue advancing east by the end of the week, but we're just going to have to wait for some newer information to pinpoint those details. Now putting the severe thunderstorm threat aside for a moment, let's talk about cloud cover and precipitation. These graphics from Pivotal Weather are actually quite helpful. On the right you see the percentage of sky covered in clouds, and on the left we have a map which shows the probability of precipitation. With that storm system expected to be situated over the northern tier of the United States, we can expect widespread cloud cover all the way from the Rio Grande towards the Appalachian Mountains, and then all the way back up into the upper Midwest. And now this is the precipitation overview at approximately 1 p.m. Central Time on April 8th, and you can see widespread rain and snow across the northern plains and upper Midwest with a weak area of low pressure like I just mentioned, with a decaying cold front all the way back down to Texas. We also see widespread green showing up across Texas, and that's a sign of the warm and moist air surging north ahead of this severe weather event. So now with all this information in mind, I'm going to conclude this weather report with my overall solar eclipse weather forecast. If you're in the green shade, low cloud cover and no precipitation is expected. Overall, good weather is likely for the day of the eclipse. This includes parts of the western United States, the Missouri River Valley, New England, and the southeast. Now, if you're in this yellow shade, which covers most of the country, clouds could be an issue, but there's still a pretty good chance that the eclipse will be visible. This is also an area that may experience precipitation depending on your location. Lastly, if you are in that red shade, then unfortunately it looks like the weather won't be cooperating. The Pacific Northwest, Northern High Plains all the way to the Great Lakes and back down towards Texas can expect cloudy and or rainy weather, and if you're in the Southern Plains, that will also include the potential for severe weather and flooding rain. With that said, that's going to conclude my official solar eclipse weather forecast. I hope you found this video useful, and remember to drop your questions and comments down below. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.